developers, developers, developers. Geofencing allows us to set up virtual boundaries around a facility without having to worry about physical barriers. Let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. Today we're going to be looking at how we could use proximity tracking inside of Locera to make sure that a trainee and a trainer work together during their shift. So you can see I've got two transponders set up. One is a line one trainer, one is a line one trainee, and they are part of a line one training pair. See, we've got a whole bunch of geofences set up inside of Locera, and that's what we'll be using to determine if the trainer or the trainee leaves this area during their work time. So they're doing their thing, they're doing their thing. And as you can see from this notification up here that the operator has left the area and left the trainee by himself. You can also set up an action to notify you via email. So let's go look at the rules that we use to make this type of logic happen. So here I am inside of my rules engine. I've got a couple rules already created, but the ones we're really caring about right now are the line one operator rule and the line one trainee rule. So we're inside the line one operator rule. And what this rule is saying is that if you have a transponder with a node type of line one operator is in the line one training pair group, it should always exist inside of the line one area geofence we've set up. On the right, we have an actions panel that allows you to customize what the action that happens looks like to you. And on top here, we have what is called a trigger. And this is the type of transponder that will make this rule occur. In this case, it is a line one operator. So that's just one way you can use proximity tracking in Locera to accomplish your needs. If you'd like to see more, connect with us at locera.io.